Hello and welcome to my YouTube tutorial on how to make a very annoying ball game. First I uh, want to apologize for my accent but it doesn't matter for the rest of the movie or clip. Well, let's first draw a ball. Let's give it a gradient. Always looks nice. Uh, Shift F9. Uh, left click it and I'll choose green. Alright. Here it goes. Alright, that's our ball. Let's select it, F8, and make a button from it, yes. And name it just simply ball. Sorry. Alright, let's drag it to the middle. Now, right click it, create motion tooling. Select frame 1, and frame 1. It's over here, frame 2, and just drag it somewhere else, frame 3, and drag it somewhere else, frame 4, drag it somewhere else, frame 5, drag it somewhere else, etc, etc. Welcome back again, well, this is my ball, and this is Bob, and if you'd look now how the move would look, the ball would go like this. Can you follow it? Uh, the meaning of the game is that you click the ball and every time you click the ball the score will add up. So what you, sh what you should do is at first let's make all those straight lines some curves so it will look better. Alright, I made, I made some curves and this isn't a necessary step but I always do it since it looks better. Well, if we would start the movie now, it would still look like crap. Right. It's 30 frames per second, and now it's just 30 frames. Just all these steps he will do, the computer will do this in, or Flash will do this in these 30 steps in one second. So let's make he will do, let's make it that he will do one step per second. Let's make it 300 long. Now, it, oh, per 10 seconds, per 10 frames, I mean. Um, flash will make everywhere in between new spots, so it goes smoother, as you can see. If you would, watch, would play it now, it would go, it's very smooth and you would probably st st still would see it jumping around but that's just because the frame rate is crap of my computer but for me it's very smooth well let's place a score let's name this ball and lock it New layer and texts. First, uh, static text, and it will be. Let's make it blue. Score, and then. We will take another time text thingy and dynamic text so it can change throughout throughout the movie clip throughout the movie or game in this case and just make it long and give it color black and put it at the same height as this and make it a bit bigger. Alright. Let's lock it. Oh, wait. 
let's give this the instance name score underscore txt. Alright, now let's new layer name actions and at the first frame we will make a keyframe and at the last frame we will make a keyframe. This last frame is just to press F9, make, make a code and go to and play 2. This will tell fly, Flash to go to frame 2 and play the movie again. So this will go in a constant loop from here. And at here we will place variation score column that tells what kind of variation it is and for us it is number equals zero and score txt text equals zero and since it is a string we will make a string out of it would start now, score would be zero, like we can see here. Nothing happens when I click the ball, but we'll make that happen later. Alright. Uh, new layer. No menu. Well, if you would start the movie now, and we would right click, and it's terug here, but that's touch ball stops and you can click it as much as you want and the score will add up so let's make it that there is no right click menu and then stage menu I have to look for a second show menu is false right now if I'm right I will right click yeah see only gives Options and this is only in this flash and it wouldn't be when you post it on new grounds, for example. Alright. Let's lock this, lock this, and open a ball, click it, and F9. We'll make a code for a ball. So on, press, and we will take press since if you would release it when the ball already is out of your mouse. Uh, well, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be easy to do, let's say. Or you can just make two handlers like release and release out, release outside. But I'll just take press since you only need to, need to make one uh, handler. Right. Score, that's the variation, plus equals one. So it will add up one to score, and we will put score to string. The variation, the variation score, was for us a number, but uh, uh, and this one score txt the text needs to be string but we made score we put it to string so the number now will be string so then we make a score here and uh, flash will automatically make this uh, score number again after <coughs> sorry after this so let's test it Try to click it. Well, to test it, I'm going to put the show main state show menu false in, in as, as comment, so we can pause it and then test it. See? And if you let this continue, it won't go to frame one again, but frame two because this one fails scores. To score to put it again at 1 and that wouldn't be very nice for the player. Alright, I hope you learned something and uh, I will post this as an uh, 
FLA file in the comment box. Bye!